Assalamu alaikum. Hope so. You guys are doing well. So today we are going to study about anatomy of maternal pelvis. So this pelvis is divided into three parts. There is a pelvic inlet, there is a mid cavity, and there is a pelvic outlet. So at first we are going to discuss about the pelvic inlet and the different structures uh, which surrounds this inlet. So first just see this diagram. So here is this diagram, the yellow one, this one is the sacrum, and this one is the coccyx and this is the hip bone. These are the major uh, part of the pelvic bone. Now just see this diagram. I have written the structures which, which are surrounding the pelvic inlet. So as you guys can see that, uh, let me adjust, okay. So as you guys can see that anteriorly, okay, this is the pelvic inlet. This is the pelvic inlet. So it's written that anteriorly it is surrounded by or bounded by upper border of symphysis pubis. Let me erase this type, this lines. Okay, so upper border of symphysis pubis. As this is a symphysis pubis, upper border of symphysis pubis, and then laterally it is laterally it is surrounded by. These are the pubic bones. Now laterally is pubic bone. These are the pubic bone iliopectineal margin line or it is also known as um, iliopubic line uh, as in in this diagram you guys can see that um, this and this this and um, this these are the iliopectineal line or iliopubic line so this is the iliopectineal or iliopubic line so these are uh, the structures which which is uh, surrounding the pelvic inlet laterally and the last one is the ala of the sacrum so here this is the sacrum and this is the sacrum and here this is the sacrum so this is the ala of the sacrum so this is also the lateral part so ala of the sacrum so we have laterally pubic bone iliopectineal line and ala of the sacrum now only the posterior part is left so posteriorly we have the sacral promontory which is this one this is the sacral promontory as you guys can see this is the sacral this is the sacral promontory so these are all the structures um, in the pelvic inlet now we are going to discuss about the pelvic uh, mid pelvic cavity or mid pelvis so just see this diagram so now uh, it is also consisting of the mid pelvis is between the pelvic inlet as this is the pelvic inlet. So just mem uh, member memorize the thing that now just below this a little below this pelvic inlet there comes a mid pelvis like inside this. It is like if you guys can uh, just to memorize that this is sort of a pipe so it's just a a little below the pel uh, mid pelvic uh, below the pelvic inlet so this is the mid pelvis okay so anteriorly it is anteriorly it is bounded by middle of the symphysis pubis so this was the pubic symphysis of middle of the like middle of the symphysis pubis then laterally it is um, surrounded by pelvic pubic bones pubic bones then there is obturator fascia okay let me zoom the second diagram okay here so i have rotated this diagram so that you guys can easily understand this okay so this is the these are the internal obturator muscle also known as obturator fascia so as you guys can see that this is uh, included in the um, mid pelvis 
so we have the mid of the pubic bones we uh, sorry the pubic symphysis then we have the uh, these are the pubic bones this is the pubic symphysis middle of the pubic symphysis then pubic bones and we also have obturator fascia and inner aspect of ischial spine so let me erase this okay so in just concentrate on this diagram that these are the ischial spines these are the ischial spines so it is also included in lateral portion that um, the inner aspect of ischial bones and spines um, is included in the mid pelvis and posteriorly by the now obviously posterior are this so second and third second and third section of the sacrum posteriorly so this was the mid pelvis now let's move on to so now uh, we are going to discuss about the pelvic outlet it is also con it also consists of anterior border lateral border and the posterior border so okay so anterior in anterior border includes the pubic arch so this is the pubic arch lateral border consists of ischial tuberosity and the sacrotuberous ligament so as in this diagram you guys cannot see the sacrotuberous ligament but laterally it consists of ischial tub uh, tuberosity and uh, sacrotuberous ligament and the posterior border consists of the tip of the coccyx or the rest of the sacrum the part of the sacrum which was not included in the mid pelvic cavity so this was all about the um, pelvis the maternal pelvis so hope so you guys have understood and if you guys have understood then do like comment and share and uh, subscribe my youtube channel jazakallah khair and allah hafiz